So today we are going to discuss about the respiratory parameters. In that, first one is dead volume. For a normal human being, dead volume ranges around 150 milliliter. It is the volume of air that is inhaled which are not available for gas exchange with the blood. That is why we have to the air in our lungs. Lungs are the blood white exchange. Upon the air, the quantity of air blood white exchange is available. That volume of air is dead volume. So, it is the volume of air that is inhaled already shows you which are not available for gas exchange with the blood. That is the blood white gas exchange not available. That is the pending air pending air blood white to code it. That is quantity. That is the volume of the dead volume. It is around 150 milliliter. And second parameter is tidal volume. Tidal volume is the volume of air moved into or out of the lungs during normal breathing. Normal breathing is the same as the air is released from the lungs. the volume is tidal volume. For a normal human male, tidal vol volume ranges 500 milliliter and a normal human female tidal volume ranges around 390 milliliter okay so this is tidal volume then third parameter is inspiratory reserve volume it is the maximum amount of gas that can be inspired with effort from end inspiratory position alengil amount of extra air inhaled above tidal volume during a forceful breathing. It is also called complemental air. That is why we have tidal volume. Tidal volume is normal. That is normal breathing. That is why we have amount of air. That is why we have a amount of air. That is why tidal volume. So, inspiratory reserve volume is normal. We normal breathing. Normal breathing at the carino, a last point in the number effort at the etratholum cood the layer, Namaka inhale chiam petum. Adana inspiratory reserve volume. Ada either it is the maximum amount of gas that can be inspired. Evident on the other position with effort from end inspiratory position. Ada either normal breathing nadati, breathing nadati. A breathing is not the end point. We maximum effort. We have to gas in the air. Amount of extra air inhaled above tidal volume during a forceful breathing. Okay? Extra effort. That is the normal breathing. Extra effort. We have to air in air. That is the inspiratory reserve volume. For a normal human male, it comes around 3 liter, and for a female, it comes around 2.3 liter. Okay, it is also called complemental air. Next one is respiratory reserve volume. Respiratory reserve volume is the same inspiratory reserve volume. That is the opposite. That is the normal breathe out. That is breathe out in the last point in the forcefully we will gas for the gas that is the respiratory reserve volume it is the maximum amount of gas that can be expired from end respiratory level or amount of extra air above a normal breath exhaled during a forceful breath out that is the normal breath out that is the end point in the forcefully we will gas breathe out the gas. That is the respiratory reserve volume. For a normal human male, it comes around 1.2 liter, and for a normal human female, it comes around 0.93 liter. This is the respiratory reserve volume. Okay. 
Next one is residual volume. If we aspire with the maximum effort, some amount of gas remains in lungs. Residual volume is the amount of gas remaining in lungs after maximal aspiration. That is, we have a forceful aspiration. That is, forceful aspiration is the same as the shosicic and the gas. We have a forceful aspiration. Okay, forcefully we will put some amount of gas still remains in lungs. That volume of air is called residual volume. That is, we will put forcefully aspiration. Forceful aspiration is the same as lungs. A small quantity of air still remains. आवेरे स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ऑफ़ एयर रिमेंच ये देरी के ना स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ऑफ़ एयर नियाना नमले रेसिडुअल वॉल्यूम अंदर आता है ना तो आदो बोले इवडे फोर्सफुल एस्पिरेशन आन अतः इधर नॉर्मल एस्पिरेशन नहीं ला फोर्सफुल एस्पिरेशन आन ना दिया द फोर्सफुल एस्पिरेशन नाटती काइनी � or residual volume is the amount of gas remaining in lungs after maximal aspiration. For a normal human male, it comes around 1.2 liter and for normal human female, it comes around 0.93 liter. Okay. Then, next one is total lung capacity. It is the amount of gas contained in the lungs at the end of maximal inspiration. That is, one maximal inspiration is that we have a lot of lungs in our lungs and a lot of air in our lungs. That is, we have a total lung capacity. It is the sum of inspiratory capacity and functional residual capacity. Inspiratory capacity is defined as maximal amount of gas that can be inspired from a resting respiratory level. That is, ஒரு நார்மல் பிரித்தான் உட்டு கழின்ன என்று செய்சம் maximum effort எடுத்து எத்ரத்தோலம் air லங்சிலைக்கு கொண்டு வெராம் பட்டும் எல்லங்கள் பிரித்தின் செய்யாம் பட்டும் அது நீ அனு நாம்மலு inspiratory capacity என்ன வரையனது okay inspiratory capacity is defined as maximal amount of gas that can be inspired from resting respiratory level ஒரு நார்மல் பிரித்தான் உட்டு கழின்னுட்டு maximum effort எடுத்துட்டு எத்ரத்தோலம் gas நமக்கு breathing சியாம் பட்டும் அதான் inspiratory capacity it is about 3.6 liter functional residual capacity என்ன வர்ணால் amount of gas containing in lungs at resting respiratory level அதைது normal breathe out செய்தேன் செய்தேன் எத்ரத்தோலம் gas நம்மடை lengths இல் பிரசன்ட ஆனு அவு இறு ஓலியத்தியானு நம்மல் functional residual capacity என்ன வரண்ணது அதைது resting position இல்லங்கள் resting respiratory level எத்ரத்தோல amount of gas lengths இல் பிரசன்ட ஆனு அதானு functional residual capacity சு ஒரு confusion அண்டாவாம் residual volume functional residual capacity நம்மல் residual volume என்ன வருண்ணால் forceful breathe out நடத்திட்டு எத்ரத்தோலம் volume of gas lengths இல் பிரசன்ட ஆனு என்னல்லதானு residual volume functional residual capacity என்ன வருண்ணால் normal breathe out நடத்திட்டு எத்ரத்தோலம் gas lengths இல் பிரசன்ட ஆனு அதானு functional residual capacity okay so அது confusion நாம் படில்லா so total lung capacity என்ன வருண்ணால் it is the sum of inspiratory capacity plus functional residual capacity functional residual capacity என்ன வருண்ணால் அதைது ஒரு normal breathe out நடத்தி என்னு சேசம் lungs இல் எத்ரத்தோலம் amount of volume of எல்லங்கள் volume of gas பிரசன்ட ஆனு அதானு functional residual capacity whereas inspiratory capacity என்ன வருண்ணால் நம்மல ஒரு normal breathe out நடத்தி என்னு சேசம் எத்ரத்தோலம் forcefully எத்ரத்தோலம் gas நமக்கு breathe in சியாம் பட்டும் அதானு inspiratory capacity so total lung capacity is the sum of inspiratory capacity and functional residual capacity for a normal human male it comes around 6 liter and for normal human female it comes around 4.7 liter 
So TLC can be written as FRC plus IC. FRC in the world, function residual capacity. IC in the world, inspiratory capacity. Next one is minute volume. It is the volume of air breathed, breathed for one minute. One minute is the volume of air breathed for one minute. That is minute volume. Next one is vital capacity. Vital capacity is the maximum amount of air that a person can expel from the lungs after first filling the lungs to their maximum extent. That is the lungs total length capacity is one initiation. This maximum amount of air we can breathe out or expel the lungs. That is vital capacity. That is the lungs full initiation. The lungs is the maximum air lungs. That is the maximum air lungs. One forceful expiration. Forceful expiration is the same as the gas in our lungs. That is the vital capacity. So, vital capacity is the maximum amount of air that a person can expel from the lungs after first filling the lungs to their maximum extent. It comes around 4.6 liter for a normal human male and 3.6 liter for a normal human female. It is equal to the sum of inspiratory volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and tidal volume. E vital capacity and the vernal, it is the sum of inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and tidal volume. So VC can be written as IRV plus ERV plus TV. IRV and the vernal, inspiratory reserve volume, ERV and the vernal, expiratory reserve volume, TV and the vernal, tidal volume. So, नम्मडे various respiratory parameters इवडा नम्मलोरे chart पॉइलर represent ये दाम दे चेद दाने द सो इवडा नंगा करनाम इदा अन्ना total length capacity total length capacity नम्मा केंगे नहीं दाम vital capacity plus residual volume नहीं दाम vital capacity इन्दुवार नाले एत्र तोलम lengths फुला इन्हें शेषम एत्र तोलंग gas नम्मा कैस्पल यां पटुन्नो plus Residual volume is a forceful breathe out and the gas is present in the lungs. That is residual volume. So total length capacity, vital capacity plus residual volume. That is why it can also be written as inspiratory capacity plus functional residual capacity. That is normal breathe out and the gas is present in the lungs. That is forceful breathe out and the gas is inspiratory capacity. Functional residual capacity. Normal breathe out and the gas is present in the lungs. That is functional residual capacity. So total length capacity can be written as inspiratory capacity plus functional residual capacity. And okay, in the case of the case, Total length capacity is the sum of inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume, expiratory reserve volume and residual volume. Inspiratory reserve volume नमा करियाम, एंदान, उरु normal breathing नड़ती एनिशेशम, extra effort एड़ुते एट्ट, एत्र तोलम volume नमक्क उल्ले कड़िकाम बट्टुम, अधान inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume एंद वरने इन्याल, उरु normal breathe out नड़ती, आल अदिन्दे लास्ट पॉइंट लन्न में फोर्सफुली ये तरतोल गैस ना हमको पोरते के गलाय में बटुम अदाने स्प्रेटरी रसर वॉल्यूम रसिजल वॉल्यूम में नुवार नाले फोर्सफुल ब्रीथ आउट आने तीन शेष में तरतोलम गैस उल्ले ले लेंग्से ले प्रसंद आना अदाने रसिजल वॉल्यूम एंड टाइडल वॉल्यूम में � Inspiratory Reserve Volume, Tidal Volume, Expiratory Reserve Volume and Residual Volume. These are the various respiratory parameters. Okay. With this, I am concluding today's topic. Thank you.